what brings you what brings you here what what how did you build the connection through the after uh, i'm actually not sure um, my staff organized this so uh, i don't know exactly how the connection was made but the invitation was given and i thought this was a good opportunity to talk about this i think it's uh, the sort of subject that you only get to hear one side of and it's very much the pro side and you never get to hear the uh, the side that's more skeptical i think it's good to be able to represent what's so important for you to talk uh, to the crowds today uh, I'm against racism. And critical race theory is the active promotion of racism. So I have to, as I'd rather not have to travel under the coronavirus potential restrictions. I mean, assuming tomorrow the flights aren't cancelled because of quarantines or something like that. Uh, but I, I, I do think there's a moral imperative that should compel people who consider themselves individualists to actually be concerned about the active promotion of race consciousness, which is what critical race theory is. What was your impression of the event today? Um, the people seem very nice, um, building, uh, and should be a, a lot of kind of ruthless. Um, the people are very nice, they seem very understanding of the message I'm trying to put across here, as I've just described it, and they seem to accept it. I don't understand the stigmatization of the AFD, to be honest. I don't know why everyone's treating them like they are lepers or something. They seem to be completely in line with what I'm preaching. No, not one person criticised me for having this kind of view, so I don't see a problem. What do you think, why does the AFD organise such, such an event with uh, this kind of media? Uh, because I think they don't get a fair shake in what we will call the mainstream media. It seems to be very much dominated by progressive thought, and progressive thought is very much dominated by extreme leftist thought, and it seems that the two uh, fairly inextricable at this point. The liberals have all become right wing. So I find myself only speaking to right wingers, whereas I would actually like to speak to sort of progressive leftists and ask them, are you really in favour of white consciousness being raised among white people? Because I'm not. I think it's a terrible idea. What is your impression of the, since you're a YouTuber of the, uh, um, of the German right wing YouTube uh, scene? Uh, not Get being a there. German speaker, I actually don't know much about it, so I'm afraid I can't be confident. Okay. I don't actually bother much with climate change, either or against, so I, I'm not studying on science. So I don't, I'm not familiar with her work, but she was very nice as a person, so you know, but, uh, I, I don't really have much time. You made a career on uh, YouTube and you tried to make a career in politics. Um, how is this connected in a way? Why, why is well, I, I'm not uh, trying to create a career in politics, and neither was the uh, the run of the EU Parliament. And the whole point was to demonstrate that if you don't get us out of Europe, as we have voted for, people like me will keep coming up, and you'll end up getting one that's actually good at what they're doing and is prepared and desires to be able to act. I was really um, making a point by doing those things. I'm not really interested in politics. It's a pretty dirty game. You see, I you know, one case you see in the US uh, several former social media personalities mm -hmm. getting to the Republican Party. Do you see the same kind of development in Germany? Uh, I think it's probably an inevitable consequence of the internet that you will see personalities from the internet end up eventually waking up and, uh, in your own in real life politics. I think the main thing that's holding them back at the moment is there is an older generation who don't use the internet as much as the younger generations do. As those generations pass on and more generations come up who know nothing but the internet, this will become the norm. So again, what, was your, what, what are your thoughts about the day uh, today, from what you've got? Uh, it was really very, very civilized. Everyone was very polite, everyone listened attentively, everyone you know, helped us out with anything we needed, so it was great. Everyone was really nice. What do you think, how, how these, uh, a lot of right-wing uh, social media personalities got uh, banned on major social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Some of them were mm -hmm. present today, like Hagen Kell. Um, what do you think, how this develops? Oh, um, I can't speak to those particular cases, but in general, it seems to be a consistent pattern of political persecution because of the general understanding that there is something deeply wrong left-wing philosophy as it is at the moment, and the fact that it's going uncriticised by what you are calling right-wing is, I think, part of the reason that it's going to I think it's one of the reasons that we saw events like Brexit and Trump. I mean, I 
found that anything like that's going to happen in Germany because it's a different place. But uh, I think the sort of thing, the sort of Salvini as well, the sort of effect. I think these these are the results of an uncritical parroting of left wing philosophy um, and the attempts at censorship of various right wing media personalities, as you say. It's just a, an attempt to protect left wing ideas from being scrutinised. Where's the interest? party like the AfD in these uh, social media personalities? Well, presumably uh, promotion, because obviously they can't get any kind of promotion from the media. N not, not even promotion, just a fair shake, I think, is what, all they'd really ask for. It's a conference of free media, in a way, uh, that's what it's um, supposed to build be. Themselves up. Yeah, and also a lot of personalities uh, speaking today were uh, part of a party of AFD, so how we are media makers that are so close to, to the AFD? Uh, I'm afraid I couldn't speak to them. I don't actually know these people, so I couldn't tell you. They just asked me to come and give a talk about this particular topic, and I didn't know about this topic, so I thought, oh, thank you. Thank you very much.